Hello and good morning everyone. So now we will moving forward. We have talked about this cirrhosis. We have discussed we are discussing this Rickett cell disease that is bacter borne disease. We have discussed about rocket mountain spe spotted fever, typhus, cirrhosis, anaplasmosis. Now coming to this Q fever. Q fever is actually caused by the coccella borneti which is a similar to this Rickett cell diseases but they are not belongs to Rickettsia genus. So, genus. so that is important. Q fever that is caused by coccella borneti. There is no arthropod vector. There will be no RAS, no arthropod vector. So all Rickett cell disease we have found there is the arthropod vector was there to transfer the disease. But in this case there will be no vector, no vector. So how the organism will transmit? The organism will transmit by bacterium inhaled as an aerosol from the cattle or sea fluid, amniotic fluid. So mainly a person that is dealing with this animal delivery, that they are dealing with the placenta, they are handling the placenta. From there this bacteria actually will be inhaled as an aerosol from the cattle or sheep amniotic fluid. So delivery of the you say cattle or sheep will lead to this transfer of this bacteria. Present with headache, cough, influenza like symptom, pneumonia possibly in combination with hepatitis and they are the common cause of this culture negative endocarditis. So talking about the Q fever, Q fever actually these are similar to this rickettsial disease but does not belongs to the rickettsia. They are also, they, they, they also can be, they do not, they do not transported by arthropod vector. So they, they transport aerosol but in the form of endospore. They form endospore where they can survive. So they do not require additional uh, portion and additional intermediate people or say vector to transport it. They can transport through in the endospore and in the endospore which we inhale and then it develop. The then we get this disease called Q fever. Since it is never as Q fever, the patient will present with headache, cough, influenza, pneumonia and possibly combination with hepatitis. There is another important term that they are responsible for this culture negative endocarditis. If you develop Q fever and you, in the acute case if you are not able to diagnose or you are, are not treating they, they will go to the chronic case and in chronic case the patient usually present with endocarditis, 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 endocarditis feature and that is usually culture negative because we cannot culture this coxella borneti in normal culture media. Q fever is caused by this quite complicated bug because it has no RAS or vector and its causative organisms can survive outside in the endospore, endospore form. So they can survive. So the, if since they can survive extracellularly, they do not require vector. You can relate in this way. They are transferred they, by endospore formation and they are do not in the recexial genus, genus but closely related. So coxella borneti distinction, distinguishing feature, this is from the Kaplan book, you see they are obligate intercellular, spore-like characteristics, transmission is inhaled from the dried placenta material, zoonosis, sheep and goats possibly, uh, these are the possible bioterrorism agent, pathogenesis, obligate intercellular, live inside phagolysosome, disease they cause, Q fever, atypical pneumonia, hepatitis or endocarditis, the diagnosis can be done by serological de detection of phase Two LPS antigen for acute disease and phase one and two LPS antigen for chronic disease. This all Rickettsial and Q fever. The treatment was very simple to give doxycycline. But the diagnosis for this coxella borneti, since they are culture negative, you can go for the serological detection and that to detect this lipopolysaccharide in phase two lipopolysaccharide in case of acute phase one and two lipopolysaccharide antigen for chronic disease. Let me show you some of the images to understand Q fever. Q fever is a disease caused by bacteria called Coxella borneti. The bacteria will naturally infect animal, goat, sheep, cattle. Coxella borneti bacteria are found in the birth product like placenta or amniotic fluid, urine, feces, milk of infected animals. So if you are dealing with the infected animal then you can get this infection. You can see these are the endospore that form by this bacteria. They cause Coxella borneti cause Q fever, resistant to environmental stressor so they can in the endospore form and they can easily transfer it from animal to human but only when dealing with the delivery or dried placental product. Important thing is that you can if you can see over here this is the inhalation of your contaminated aerosol that goes inside your lung a small cell variant in spores then they develop acute Q fever in no 
long run 1 to 5 percent QFever case develop in chronic fever and predisposing immunosuppression, pregnancy, heart ball lesion and vascular abnormality. So acute fever, if you are not treating, that leads to the chronic. In acute case also, there is 60% asymptomatic, 40% will develop symptomatic. Among them, some are mild and some are can severe. Severe form are pneumonia and hepatitis. If you do not treat the acute fever, then they will lead to the chronic fever and chronic fever, there is the bulb lesion that will develop endocarditis. And in case of chronic fatigue syndrome, osteomyelitis, chronic hepatitis, interstitial lung disease and repeat abortion. So these are the features of your chronic Q fever. They can be actually a bioterrorism agent and they can transport it from the aerosol, they can contaminate the male, they can contaminate food or water, sexual transmission but rare, blood transfusion. So this can be a possible way of bioterrorism. They can be contaminated naturally, they can be from the contaminated dust, contaminated hay, occupational exposure can be done when we are working in the lab and exposure to infected product or of consumption, conception of animal and that can lead to the acute disease pneumonia and hepatitis chronics there will be endocarditis so again these are the agent of the bioterrorism so they makes it important you know q fever these are the intracellular parasite they can transmit it from delivery product of the animal okay that is important and we have to also understand that these are no arthropod bond they are acute phase causing acute fever pneumonia and hepatitis and in chronic case that will lead to endocarditis the diagnosis we need to test the lipopolysaccharide lps antigen 2 in acute phase 1 and 2 in the chronic phase and treatment is obviously the doxycycline and the patient will be cured thank you